Osimo here, joined with uh, Rod Dalvalis, uh, bringing you guys the update for uh, November the 5th, 2012. It just flipped over to the 6th here, so Halo 4 is officially out as you guys are watching this video. Um, hopefully you guys are uh, getting in line or getting out of line here to go play that game and enjoy uh, Master Chief's new campaign. Um, so... Hopefully you guys, and on another side note on that, I, I'm not going to be getting that game for quite some time. So any of the guys that are on the Machinima team that have capture cards or are able to get that device, uh, go ahead and get me some videos. I'll get them up onto the Google Drive account so we can get all your new gameplays up over there. Because um, like I said, I'm probably not going to be getting it until January. But on a side note, I want to do a few things here. First off, congratulations to DOG Alley Cat uh, being promoted to commander over uh, Halo. And uh, Black Horse, so big congrats to her. And uh, moving on from that, ain't got really much going on in DOG this week. So we've got a few uh, gameplays going on, uh, new new games that are coming out, such as Black Ops, and even a DLC package that's coming to Skyrim here. So, Rod, why don't you tell us about that Skyrim package? Yeah, we'd be glad to. Um, as you guys know, so far we've only had two expansions. There's uh, first Dawn Guard and then Earth Fire. The new one coming out is actually going to be called Dragonborn, and it's an actually it's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be set up in Morrowind, so you know for those guys that actually played through the whole series, you know you get a little bit of nostalgia. Go back to some of the old lands, and this one they actually going to be some video here shows you know you're actually riding on dragons, um, kind of how they did in Dawn Guard. You know they added a crossbow weapon and of course being able to craft your own arrows and such um apparently they're going to try to do something completely different they didn't give me too much information as to what weapons they're going to be bringing out but it's it looks like it's going to be awesome uh even further on to that um new enemies to go against um we'll actually be putting a link to the website that i'm actually showing here um, and it'll show you the trailer, the new weapons, um, a couple of the uh, new enemies going on. And like always, it's going to be coming to Xbox 360 first for just that, that 1600 Microsoft points or just 20 bucks. Uh, the release date and the price for the PC has not yet been confirmed. And of course, with PS3, unfortunately, those guys have yet just, to get any DLC. Yeah, they just, yeah. <laughs> um, hopefully, you know, Sad they'll game get the PlayStation uh, World. Yeah, Game of the Year edition. Hopefully, you know, will come out and you know they'll get it, they'll catch a break over there. Yeah, yeah, guys. Hopefully that that definitely fixes that because that's pretty unfortunate. You know, we've already had two two downloads for that game, and you know, haven't made it over to PC yet. That's a little unfortunate. Like, you know, with, with Call of Duty, we get this PlayStation guys get to see it like a month later after we've seen it. Yeah, or so. So at least that, yeah. At least they get that to look forward to that on Call of Duty. But Skyrim, this was such a big game. Like everybody plays that. Like I, I haven't played it myself yet because I just haven't been a big fan of Elder Scrolls. I'm a big Fallout fan, so I do like things that Bethesda makes. Um, not saying that I don't like Bethesda, but I like Fallout. I just don't like the uh, medieval time uh, Fallout that they do with Elder Scrolls. The Fallout was a good series. I like playing those. I actually played the Fallout Three and then the the Vegas one, and they're actually pretty good. I like those ones too. I'm looking Those forward to awesome the, games. like an online multiplayer component too, like Fallout or or even Skyrim. If they could add a multiplayer element to that, I think it would probably be it'd be a really great RPG game. Uh, I agree with you. That'd be pretty sweet. Definitely be sweet. But uh, moving on from there, so we have Black Ops dropping next week here. Um, again, I'm big fan of uh, Coliseum and bringing Coliseum back into Black Ops. If you guys know uh, me from being a commander or a lieutenant, Coliseum was a really fun game. It was pretty much knives in the pit, and you had random kill streaks that came to, came your way depending on the class that you picked up. Um, so it's a that was a really fun game type to play, and I'm looking forward to being able to do that again because um, that just makes life so much easier and it's so fun. I can't really, I can't wait to get some feeds up here on the Machinima channel for that. Um, we have new weapons coming out. I'm looking forward to no scope, uh, uh, no uh, bolt action rifle with iron sights again. I uh, haven't seen that since World at War, and I was a big fan of uh, shooting people with uh, the Arasaka. And uh, hopefully the uh, ballista can live up to being a uh, a bad, ri a badass rifle. I mean, 
I'm looking forward to Zombies here in Black Ops. Uh, Zombies has three new modes, if you guys don't know. Um, and if you don't know, you're probably living under a rock. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Something actually coming with the uh, weapons. A uh, couple things I'm actually excited. They're actually going to do a couple different things with the round, you know, the like, like three round burst with the Tech 95 here and um, the Type 95 with Modern Warfare 3. They actually got a Type 25 coming out. It's a fully auto automatic machine or assault rifle a high rate of fire with you know moderate recoil they even got a, a let's see a fully automatic assault rifle but the first two rounds of each burst are that are fired are actually shoot out at a, a faster rate so you got new weapons you know definitely make some damage with them yeah they got a four burst round gun in there um I mean, yep. selectable rate of fire is coming into this game. This game is going to be really great. I'm looking forward to Black Ops um, more so than I was looking to, forward to Modern Warfare 3 last year. Um, Same here, yeah. And um, that, that four-round burst rifle, it actually it shows it, like mobility and a bunch of range. Um, yeah. Yeah, it looks, looks like a pretty good game. It's going to be it's going to be good. And the one thing I do like about this one here is, you know, most guys who don't prestige, guess what? You guys are probably going to have to prestige a couple times to unlock everything. Um, so you're you're not able to get everything right through your first run of prestige, your first run. So you're going to have to prestige if you want to unlock other things in the game. Um such as weapons or things, you're going to have a selection, and based off that selection you make as you're leveling up is what you're going to have for that run. So you won't be able to get everything in one run through here. That's something I do like myself. It kind of forces some people to actually have the prestige. But we know we're going to find our OP guns and everything um, right away. Oh, yeah, definitely. Everybody's going to find out what's the, what OP guns are available. But, uh, yeah, zombies, I mean, myself, I'm looking forward to uh, the Z story. Um, that's going to be really cool. I'm looking looking into that pretty hard. I, I want to ride the bus. I want to run the bus route, do all that. Um, and then the 4Z4, that's uh, that's the other one I want to want to look at because it's basically who can screw who the most. Um, <laughs> and the way that zombies com- campaign works, uh, from what I've what I've read and what I've looked at it, it's like how how bad can you screw the enemy team with zombies? So. That's what, I, and who can who can be overran first? Like you just have to. It's just gonna be out, out outlasting the enemy team. Is gonna be what the object of that mode is, and I'm looking forward to that. Um, other than that, I got one last thing I do want to talk about here, and that is an epic adventure. As you guys know, if you've been on our forums here, if you look at the top of uh, a lot of our forum heads, you'll see uh, announcements, and in that, I have an epic adventure going on. Next summer, we've got uh, Speaking for Jesus is going to be going on a uh, trip to Europe. He's actually part of a student ambassador program at a school um, with People to People. He's actually been uh, offered a uh, opportunity to go abroad for a couple weeks. Um, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. Uh, this is something that, you know, every kid out there, you know, dreams of doing is going abroad for a little bit, you know, going to see like uh, the where the Olympics were originally played, you know, see the city of Paris, see uh, Italy like he's going to live as an Italian as an Italian citizen for a couple of days and have actually have Italian parents and. Or and, uh, and everything, so it's it's a pretty cool adventure. You guys can check that link out on the forums there. Uh, donate if you guys want. I'm also gonna have a tile, timeline uh, set up there once he gets over there, so you guys can follow his trip. And that's gonna actually round us out here. Um, definitely check back with us next week. Hopefully Rod will come back again, and we'll have you guys another uh, series. But awesome out. And Rod out. And Appreciate Rod out. Here, man. Yep.